we're going to look at the life cycle hypothesis of consumption. This is a theory of consumption smoothing in which people transfer money from high to low income periods or from low to high income periods by saving or borrowing funds. A college student or unemployed person borrows funds during a low income period sustaining or maintaining consumption to be paid during a high income period. A worker saves funds during a high income period to sustain consumption during retirement, a low income period. Consumption decisions are based not only on current income, but on future income. People are forward looking, unlike the simple consumption function, in which individuals base consumption only on current income. Forward looking behavior means that a temporary increase in income, for example, a salesperson has an exceptionally good year or a person receives a temporary tax cut or a government stimulus check will have less effect on consumption than a permanent change in income. Let's start defining some of our key variables. T is the total remaining life years. W is wealth. Y is income. R is remaining work years. And R times Y is lifetime earnings. We're going to ignore discounting and C is going to be consumption. We're going to assume a person wants to completely smooth consumption, consuming the same amount each year. In this case, the consumption function will take on this form, which can be rewritten as follows. Again, R times Y here is just lifetime earnings, where we're ignoring discounting, just assuming the interest rate is zero. So just rewriting the consumption function in this case. Uh, the marginal propensity to consume out of wealth is going to be just 1 divided by t, the increase in consumption from an additional dollar of wealth. And the marginal propensity to consume out of income is just going to be this coefficient on y, which is r divided by t, the increase in consumption from an additional dollar of income. Let's do an example. A 20-year-old who expects to live 70 more years will work for 45 more years and then retire. What is the life cycle consumption function? So we're just going to plug in our values into this formula. So T is 70 and R is 45. And simplifying, we have the following. Uh, now let's assume that the 40-year-old who expects to live 40 more years will work for 20 more years at an annual salary of 50000 and then retire. If his wealth is 100000 how much does he consume each year? So again, our formula. This time we'll put in values for W and Y. 20 times 50000 would be the lifetime earnings. And we're spreading that over 40 years. This 100,000 is being spread over 40 years, the number of years this person expects to live. So this person will be able to consume $27,500 each year for the next 40 years, given the person's initial wealth and their annual salary. Uh, each year, this person works. He saves 25000 So out of this $50,000, Notice the MPC here is one half, so the person will only spend $25,000 of their income each year. The remaining expenditures here are coming from the wealth that is being eaten down by $2,500 a year. Um, another part here is suppose the 40-year-old's annual income will be permanently higher at $60,000 for the next 20 years, what is a marginal propensity to consume out of permanent income? So instead of having $50,000 in parentheses here, we now have 60,000, and this will raise annual consumption to 32,500. 
So this person's permanent income went up by $10,000, and this person's consumption went up by 5,000, so 5,000 over 10,000 is 0.5. And as we said, it's just 20 divided by 40, also 0.5. Uh, now let's look at a change in temporary income. So suppose the 40-year-old's annual income will be temporarily higher this year at 100000 and then revert to $50,000 for the next 19 years. What is the marginal propensity to consume out of transitory income? So lifetime income, person's going to earn $100,000 this year, and then the next 19 years will be earning $50,000 each year. So the person's lifetime income is as follows. Plugging that information into our consumption function. This person's annual consumption now will be 28750 So the marginal propensity to consume here out of transitory income, we look at the change in consumption over the change in income. And we get a very small value here of 0.125. So transitory changes in income have a much smaller effect on consumption than permanent changes in income.